Welcome back guys, we're back again with another video and today we're going to be going over cheap.com domains. So what we're going to be starting with is just talking a little bit about why we go for the uh, .com domains and then afterwards we're going to register one um, with seekerhost.app just to see the process and also how you can search for it just to give you a good idea. So let's get started first with why you should choose a .com domain and especially why you should be looking for a cheap one. Of course uh, the first answer for that is if you want to save some money and don't worry we have you covered here, we have a huge sale. Uh, which we'll go over in a minute uh, for the domains. However, one of the main reasons is is because the .com domain has way more authority. People trust it, whether it be more secure or not, and they're going to trust the .com domain way more than they trust the other variations. This is not to say that other variations don't also work, and they might not work better for a specific domain. However, as a rule of thumb, we like to go for .com domains, um, preferably first. If we can't find it, then we might look elsewhere. Now, if you're running a business, it's going to look much better, much more international if you have got .com. So if you've only got .co.uk, they might be thinking, okay, well, this is just a UK-based website, so maybe I might not not go there if it's e-commerce whereas you might be selling to the whole world the same is if you have other variations as well so really the best thing that we want to be looking for is a short.com domain without many symbols um, something that's easy to remember something that you could potentially tell work colleague and they could go back in the evening without having to be prompted they would be able to remember the name and that's going to be hard if you've got any sort of numerics in there or any sort of symbols so we want to keep it simple to the niche and easy to remember and understand what it actually is for. Of course, when people are searching for stuff and they're coming up with your posts or pages, you want them to look at the domain and also be able to associate um, that that is in fact what they're looking for. It's in the correct sort of relevance and it's not gonna be completely irrelevant to their search because of course that would then lead to a bad user experience. So we've already done a bit of background work um, towards what domain we actually want to do. If you haven't already, go check out some of our videos. Um, you can sort of see how we how we go and analyze uh, domains, even expired domains if that's what you're interested in. Of course, you can get either new or expired domains with Seek Host, that's completely up to you or depending on what you want. So for this instance, we want a website that's going to be like a help group for people that are learning WordPress um, so we want to find a domain that's associated with this we also want to make sure that it's .com so it's going to look really authoritative so let's actually get into Seekerhost now and check out some of the deals that we got with the cheap.com domains and we're going to register one for ourselves as well just so you can check out the process so with that let's jump into the video So as we said already, um, we've got our domain ready, so basically it's just a case of searching for it, actually purchasing it as well, um, to then in the future add to some hosting package. And of course, if you're interested in hosting with Seeker Host, you're going to find that we have some great deals here, starting at just £1 a month for one uh, WordPress hosting, going up to multiple WordPress hosting, um, and you're going to find it hard to find a better deal uh, for the amount of features that you actually get here, including your free SSL certificate, um, your free email for WordPress hosting, which is going to be like a business email, which looks much more professional. If you're into PBNs, we have got the most unique and best tailored hosting for PBN sites as well, uh, with unique IPs, different names servers and the way it's all set up is it's set up to leave zero footprint so you can keep growing your PBN and get hundreds of blogs on there and um, for either your consultancy or of course growing your main money site so let's get started and um, we're up on the Seeker host page and we're simply going to type in the domain that we want so I'm going to go for WP support uk.com because I'm a UK based website this is going to be however we still want to have .com it's going to look a lot better either way and of course as WordPress is online that's not going to matter too much so this is the one that we want so we're just going to go ahead and search now now. So now it's going to show us whether it's actually available, um, which thank God it is, but, but also it's going to show us all the variations as well. So if you don't like it or you want to choose a slightly different one, you can just go through the list and just check out for the one that you want. Um, there are some really interesting variations in here. Sometimes I end up finding one that I actually prefer to the one that I'm searching. So just make just make sure to go down through the list, check it all out, make sure there's not one that might suit you better. Now, as you can see, we are having a massive sale. So if you are looking for domains, I really seriously would come down here now um, and get one. <laughs> I mean, even from Dot website 72% off we got dot online at 86% off at the moment dot com is half price as well which is absolutely brilliant you're going to be shown right here what the yearly price after your first year is going to be um, and of course it's going to be the standard price without 50% off unless there is any sort of other deals um, but you're not going to be coerced into thinking that it's a good price and then next year you're going to have to pay £25 for the domain that isn't going to happen um, it's very clear here to how much it's going to be the next year if you are saving anything this year and exactly 
exactly how much you're going to save, which to be fair is a very large amount. I mean, if you're running a PBN and you want to grab yourself a load of good domains, whether they be expired, um, which we do suggest, of course, expired domains for PBNs, um, this would be a great time to find them all, purchase them all with Seacoast, because even as the next year renewal comes up, they're still going to be a very good price and you've saved 50% from your first year and this could be for up to a hundred blogs. So with that in mind Let's go back up and let's actually find uh, the one that we want and we're gonna go add to cart However, if you aren't signed in, it's not gonna be a problem Let me just show you now um, just how easy it is to create an account with Seacoast So it's gonna bring you up to this page here if you haven't signed in already And we're simply gonna go to sign up and then this is all it takes to actually make an account and again It's absolutely free um, just put your details in there agree that you're not a robot unless of course you are a robot Then I very much doubt you'll be listening to me So with that make an account and then we can continue on with the process. On the page here we can choose whether we want more than a year, we might want up to four years just to make sure that we don't forget to auto renew. Here you can select the auto renew which is very important because you don't want to lose your domain after a year, you don't want to forget or maybe your card details change. So you want to make sure that this is going through every year. You can also add contact privacy which is very important if you want to hide your who is information, who your registrar is and more private information if people look you up. So with that all great we're going to go next now um, and go to some of my information. Of course I'm just going to have kept this page uh, blanked out so I'm going to go to next You're going to be brought to the payments page here just make sure that you have got your correct payment details in um, and then we can just go ahead and order now and that's all it's going to take to actually get your domain uh, so I've literally done that uh, probably less than a minute now and we have got our domain ready to add to hosting if you're not sure how to add to hosting, we have lots and lots of videos how to change your name servers. We've even just uh, released a video, which I'll have coming up on the screen now, where you can add your domain to your hosting with under four minutes. Yeah, it's like some sort of WordPress speed run. However, I done it. I was pretty happy with it and I'm sure you will be too when you're hosting because I've used some of the hosts before and um, it can get annoying I'm not gonna lie some of the processes have really not been made simple which Seeker Host has basically ironed out into a perfect process here of how to get your domain and hosting up together and how to manage it all in one place and just to show you what I mean by um, we've made it so you can manage it all in one place is you've got everything here on your main dashboard from your PBN blogs your WordPress sites tracking sites and domains all in one area if you want to buy more domains you can go ahead and do it from your dashboard and you can manage everything from one place which makes it super easy especially if you're running multiple websites or blogs and you want to keep check of all of them now to actually come check some of your domains or come check the settings um, you can just come over to your domains option as you can see here we have the domain it's active we got the information here whether it's locked uh, whether you want to auto renew it and of course you can manage it through the action button here. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to head on over to seekerhost.app to get your cheap domain whilst it's available at this price. And feel free to look at any of our tutorials about starting WordPress. We've got tutorials all the way from beginner to see what your settings are, add plugins, then more advanced stuff or even extra security for your WordPress site to make sure it keeps you all safe. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you again on the next tutorial. Bye bye.